Hi, I am going to present the results of an online experiment focusing on the role of narrative messages on smoking prevention. Tobacco use has been linked to multiple health problems. That said, smoking is also the leading preventable cause of premature death. For this reason, improving the effectiveness of smoking prevention campaigns is an important goal in health communication. We will define narrative messages for smoking prevention as short personal stories told by a former smoker who shared the tales about his her experience with tobacco. One example is the Teach from Former Smoker campaign developed by the CDC in the United States. A recent meta-analysis study shows that narrative intervention have significant effect on beliefs, attitudes, intention and behavior. However, there was also a significant variation in this narrative intervention. These findings suggest that not all narratives are effective. That thus it is crucial to find out which narrative ingredients are more effective from a persuasive point of view. That is basically one of the main goals of the present study. The main theoretical models in narrative persuasion research have focused on identification with the protagonist and narrative transportation as the most relevant psychological processes. Since narrative transportation and identification with the character are relevant processes for changing attitudes with narratives, nowadays research focuses on finding out how to increase such processes. Identification is an imaginative process that implies a merging with a narrative protagonist. Narrative transportation is a psychological process that implies an engaged state in the story. The question is how to increase identification and narrative transportation. The present study analyzed the joint effect of two factors that may increase identification and narrative transportation obvious character similarity and narrative voice or perspective. As and we establish the concept of optimal reception condition which involves presenting to the audience a first person narrative whose protagonist is similar to the audience. Audience character similarity was our first independent variable in the present research. Similarity to the protagonist occurs when the individual who is exposed to a narrative message share certain traits with the protagonist. Similarity can be based on different dimensions, but previous research has only focused on the effect of demographic similarity, obtaining inconclusive evi empirical evidence. In the present study, we introduce a new dimension of that concept that is relevant for smoking prevention behavioral similarity considering the degree of tobacco dependent. In the present experiment, in order to manipulate similarity in this way, information about the degree of tobacco dependence of both the protagonist of the narrative and the participants were taken into account. Having said that, it's also possible that similarity will only influence identification and transportation under certain conditions of reception. For this reason, in the present study, we propose narrative voice could condition the impact of similarity. Narrative voice point of view refer to the narrative perspective and from which the story is told. Preview research has found that first person narratives are perceived as more personal and easier to understand, increase perspective taking and identification and are more effective for inducing risk perception. However, the empirical evidence of the effect of narrative voice on smoking prevention is scarce and inconsistent. A second goal of the present study is to understand and explain the processes or mechanisms responsible for the persuasive impact of narrative messages for smoking prevention. Thanking as theoretical reference Moyer-Gusset model, 
a distinction is made between two types of mediating processes. We propose that the, at the beginning of the causal change, identification and narrative transportation are the more relevant processes, are they are primary mediators, because they are directly connected with the impact of the message features, and also because they initiate the process that is going to facilitate the persuasive impact through the reduction of contrary and reactance. Thus, contrary and reactance are considered secondary mediators. Due to the lack of study that had used behavioral similarity and narrative voice in the smoking prevention research, and considering the existence of contradictory results regarding the main effects of similarity and narrative voice, we decided to study both factors and analyze the joint effect on the reception processes. Therefore, it's hypothesized that the joint effect of first-person narratives and audience characters' behavioral similarity will induce the highest levels of identification and narrative persuasion. Secondly, it is hypothesized that the optimal reception condition will have an indirect effect on the intention to quit smoking, on self-efficacy expectation, and on the perceived efficacy of the preventing response. We will be serially mediated by identification and narrative transportation as primary uh, mediator and contrarwin and reactance as secondary mediator. With the aim of testing our hypothesis, an online experiment using qualities panels was conducted among a representative sample of 680 smoker adults using a 2x2 two two between side of factorial design. Narrative voice and the degree of tobacco dependence of the narrative protagonists were manipulated in the narrative. All the participants were exposed to a narrative message whose protagonist was an adult smoker, a 35 year old man, who told his experience in the process of quitting and smoking, emphasizing the positive consequences of doing it. At the end of the narrative, the protagonist pointed out that he had no smoke for more than a year and described the benefit that he felt. To manipulate similarity, we consider the degree of tobacco dependence of both the protagonist and in the participants. In order to create an audience uh, character uh, behavioral similarity index, in the pretext, we ask to the participant about the degree of tobacco dependence using the Fagerstrom test. So the char characteristics of each participant were matched with the characteristics of the protagonist. Hence, similarity was determined taking behavioral criteria as a reference. The manipulation of behavioral similarity was effective using moderation analysis with process for HPSS model 1. We found that there was a statistical significant interaction effect between the degree of tobacco dependence on the narrative protagonist and the, and the participant degree of tobacco dependence on perceived similarity index. To test hypothesis 1, two analysis of variance were with experimental condition as an independent variable and identification and narrative transportation as narrative uh, as dependent variable were performed, carried out to plain contest. Regarding identification, the results show that the optimal reception condition induced the highest level of identification with the protagonist, which support hypothesis 1A. However, we did not find a statistically significant difference depending on the experimental condition on narrative persuasion. However, the descriptive result showed that the optimal reception condition also induced the highest level of narrative transportation. To test hypothesis 2, 
the process macro for SPSS was used, model 6, serial multiple mediation model, and in this case the independent variable, experimental condition, was code, uh, coded as a multi-categorical variable. It was observed that the optimal reception condition increased identification, which in turn reduced reactants. In addition, a lower level of reactants was associated with a greater intention to quit smoking, with higher self-efficacy expectation, and with a greater perceived effectiveness of the preventing response. Confirming our hypothesis, we observe three statistical significant indirect effects of the optimal reception condition on the three dependent variables that were explained by the increase in the identification and the reduction on the reactance. In addition, we also observe a statistical significant indirect effect of the optimal reception condition on the perceived effectiveness of the preventing response, which was due to the increase of identification and a reduction of counterargument. The results were less consistent regarding the role of narrative transportation, mainly because the optimal reception condition had a marginally no significant effect on this process. The present study provides evidence on how to improve smoking prevention in intervention targeting to adults. It has been shown that variables related to the construction of preventive messages have a significant effect on white smoking, on cell efficacy expectation, and on the perceived effectiveness of the preventive response. Furthermore, the present study presents two innovative innovation compared to previous studies, the concepts of behavioral similarity and optimal reception condition. The result obtained allow us to think about the different application in the field of tobacco prevention and treatment. One strategy that is becoming increasingly present in smoking prevention is the development of mobile applications to quiet smoking. In this regard, it would be interesting to develop mobile applications for smoking prevention in which the user could customize the avatar in relation to his or her behavioral similarity. Thank you for your attention.